When we see films, do we see the world differently? That's what I will attempt to do today, as we take a look at two films to try and show the world in a different viewpoint than what we may experience. Focusing on Scott C. Richmond's definition of cinema as a technology for the modulation of perception, Scott C. Richmond, Cinema's Body, Illustrations, Flying, Phrasing and Hallucinating, 2016, the University of Minnesota Press, page 6, and carefully analyse specific cinema cinematic techniques that can be said to produce a cinematic disordering and reordering of perception. Scott C. Richmond, Cinema's Body, Illustrations, Flying, Floating and Hallucinating, 2016, the University of Minnesota Press, page 134. I do not know how successful I will be. I will be taking a look at two films. Gravity, director Alfonso Cuaron, Warner Brothers, 2013, UK, USA, and Wally, -E, director Andrew Stanton, Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures, 2008, USA. Both films have the fact that they are set in space as something in common, as well as the way the protagonists in both movies experience space and a different perspective of the world. By the way, I apologise if I keep looking down, but it's so I can read my script. The opening shot of Alfonso's 2013 Gravity is already famous, and rightly so. It is nearly 13 minutes long, a virtuous exercise in acrobatic camera movement and sensational perception impact. Scott C. Richmond, Cinema's Body Illustrations, Flying, Floating and Hallucinating, 2016, the University of Minnesota Press, page 1, is the opening of Scott C. Richmond's Cinema's Body Illustrations, Flying, Floating and Hallucinating. What we are seeing in the opening of Gravity and Watch, uh, Richmond is explaining is the way astronauts view the Earth via the movement with the Hubble telescope, the shuttle and the space jetpack that allows both characters and the camera and to that extent the audience to view the world from a different point of view. Here we see the characters including Dr. Ryan Stone, Sandra Bullock and Lieutenant Mac Kowalski, George Clooney, the main protagonists of the film, experience the world from space. To them the Earth looks beautiful and Kowalski never gets tired of seeing the view from space. As the film progresses, the characters see Earth as a safe place, as opposed to the dangerous vacuum of space. God, that rhymed. Returning to that opening scene, we see Stone repairing the Hubble telescope on mechanical arms from the shuttle The Explorer. We also see Kowalski zipping around on a jetpack. Both characters are moving due to their devices, as well as being in zero gravity, causing them to constantly move and as such, get further different views of Earth. When the space debris from a defunct Russian satellite hits the Hubble telescope and the Explorer, this causes the arms to be knocked off the Explorer and swing Stone around in space until she is able to unbuckle her belt. Following this, we see her spinning through space until Kowalski finds and grabs her. During this scene, the camera constantly follows Stone, or is looking from her point of view, as we witness her being spun by the arms and flying into deep space. The audience are caught up watching the experience and even feeling it themselves. They feel like they are in the same position as Stone, and therefore feel the same fear as the character. Despite the character being on a screen, the audience can still connect to her, and the visuals make the audience believe that they are up there with her, witnessing and experiencing the same ordeal. Why is my hand doing that? Jennifer M. Baker's chapter on Viscra, no, I don't know what that means either, explores how Viscra affects our bodies, both cinematic and human. For us, the role is played by the heart, lungs, liver and other vital organs. Jennifer M. Baker, The Tactile Eye, Touch and the Cinematic Experience, 2009, The University of California Press, page 127. As already mentioned, in Gravity we see the characters flying through space, both in control like Kowalski and out of control like Stone. The Vizkira effect of their bodies would have started when they entered space, perhaps before with G-Force as we know, but as Stone is flung around in space her body experiences further Vizkira effects, probably, as she is spun out of control in the vacuum of space. Their bodies will continue to experience the effects of space until the end when Stone returns to Earth. Well, after a few moments under underwater, but then the body returns to normal once she's back on land. Richmond similarly describes this as, I have a sense of space that opens before me and through which I move not only as a result of the film's perceptual and perceptive modulation, not sure if that's correct. In the coupling of my body with the cinema screen. Scott C. Richmond, Cinema's Body, Illustrations, Flying, Floating and Hallucinating, 2016, the University of Minnesota Press, page 16. If there's one thing Gravity achieves as a film, it is to take the audience on a ride with its characters and make them feel how the characters feel as they experience space and view the world whilst attempting to return in order to survive. What are you doing? On a similar level, Wally shows the audience a different viewpoint of the world. First of all, we see that in the 29th century, humans have left a trashed and damaged Earth in order for it to be cleaned up by robots. The planet is revealed to be too toxic to sustain human life, leading to the humans and their descendants remaining in space until the end of the film. Wally, a waste allocation load lifter Earth class and voiced by Ben Burt, is the only robot still left 
cleaning up their mess. Wally sees a different world than we do as he sees the wasteland left behind and as a robot upon discovering things that would fascinate him he takes them back to his home a Wally transporter truck to examine them closer. With only a cockroach for friends Wally finds himself constantly alone. To Wally the world he views is trash laden and a lonely one at that. Wally dreams of finding someone to share his findings with, and by extent, the world left behind. A further example of Wally seeing the world differently is when he is in space, on the side of the shuttle heading back to the Axiom. Wally is able to see what the planets look like from space, just as the audience had at the beginning of the film. Baker states in one of her sentences that, despite the fact that Vizkira are fundamentally recessive and absent from conscious life, it is possible to argue that Vizkira come into play during the consciousness act of watching movies. Jennifer M. Barker the Tactile Eye, Touch and the Cinema Experience 2009, the University of California Press, page 127. However, when Wally travels through space and gets to witness the beauty that it has to offer, the audience, like with the characters in Gravity, are experiencing space alongside them. We later in the film see Wally flying through space with a fire extinguisher, and Eve, Alyssa Knight, following him with a built-in flight mode. The two partake in a space dance number. We see here the two witnessing space differently to before, as the two robots are able to use space for a fun and romantic space between the pair, witnessed by the characters of John, John Ratzenberger, and Mary, Kathy and Angie. The last one now seeing a different point of view of the axiom that she hadn't seen before thanks to Wally and causes John, who had also already met Wally, to similarly see the axiom differently as well as to gain a new point of view of the universe they are residing in. As well as noticing each other, a romance starts to blossom between them at this point and other passengers on the ship. Eric Hurruff describes animated features as they are able to address aesthetic experience through characterization and world building but also through the expectation that these films will break with order and challenge hierarchies. Eric Hurruff, Pixar and the Aesthetic Imagination, Animation, Storytelling and Digital Culture 2017, the University of California Press, pages 18 to 19. In this sequence we can witness what cannot be filmed in live action without difficult camera movement or visual effects as seen in Gravity, and the characterizations of Wally and Eve would not fit in a live action film. Seeing characters interact like this through the movements shows while well space allows the audience to see a different perspective as they would watch the characters and despite being animated robots on screen, the audience believe the characters are really doing this due to the surrealism of the visuals. So in conclusion, we do see the world different through or in cinema, depending on what's being shown on screen and how the characters interact or feel about it. Earth from Space can look beautiful but also as a safe haven. It can also be a calling to return but also a departure to go exploring. Space also opens up different perspectives on what we see, from beauty to danger, from fun to fear. Using the technology and storytelling of modern cinema, Films are able to take its audience anywhere, and by doing so, they also make the audience feel as they are experiencing or witnessing the events and locations alongside the characters, and therefore they may gain a different viewpoint of the world and universe that they live in that they may not normally see.